right, my friends, here we are, doing a tarot card reading for Mr. Andrew Tate. Now, this situation is very interesting and extremely uh, pivotal. Yeah, it comes at the beginning of a new year. So, I mean, <laughs> this is going to be very interesting moving forward because this is not just a simple arrest. This is a slight against his character. Now, as we all understand, Mr. Tate is a gung-ho individual. He's a man's man. He's not somebody that just takes things on the cheek sitting down. You're not going to smack him and he's going to turn the other cheek. No, this man is escaping from the Matrix single-handedly <laughs> and freeing many other people alongside of him. Let's look at the background behind what happened. Let's look at the present situation and let's look at what this entails for his future. Now, we all know that a tarot reading from modern mystic Dominique Denater uses the nuances of psychology, uses the trance state that is available to every person, and uses the underlying uh, psyche. First card we get. Hmm, this is the background. It's very interesting. Five of Wands. Now we know that this card signifies a fight between five youths, uh, and behind it, it's a it's a charade. It's a it's a, a make believe, and these youths represent kids making a game of searching for fame and fortune, the greatest game of all. So this represents Andrew Tate perhaps beginning his empire as a, a e-pimp. So he, he was a, a person who took girls on these cam websites and he brought out the best in them doing this in an amazing way. So. So, Mr. Tate, this is the background, and it was a an interesting endeavor. It ended up in him forming uh, his path to riches. So, that's the background. We should now let's look at. Card number two, the present situation. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. Now this this even this blows me blows me blows me away. So the fact that we drew this card right now for the present should reveal a lot to yourselves. Uh, let's, looking at this card right now, you see. You see a man sitting on a throne. He doesn't look too happy. Okay? But he's the emperor. He's in a position of power, a seat of power, right now. And he's in correlation to Andrew Tate, a man who is in a seat of power. And as we all know, heavy is the head who wears the crown. Okay? He's the emperor. He's going to be attacked. He's going to be attacked from different sides. And so we see Andrew Tate's past here has led to his position of power. Everything has, has come to fruition. So it does not look like this situation is affecting him negatively at all. I mean, kings can be attacked, can't they? But you don't see this king so far in this reading in correlation with his past you don't see him suffering you don't see him faltering the gates are still not uh, not penetrated okay maybe the gates were penetrated with the, the, the cam girls gates were penetrated a few times but whatever you know that's 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 as far as the point here the emperor he's still sitting firmly in his throne okay 
So, moving forward onto the third card. It's very interesting. So, many people would think that Tate would have been going through a difficult situation right now. Is he going to get convicted? Is he going to get arrested? Is he going to face time in jail? Penalties? From this, it does not look like it. It does not look like it. This is a result of, of the situation with Mr. Tate. Queen of Pentacles. Now, <laughs> listen. Tickle me with a feather in, and call me a red ass baboon, right? This is the Queen of Pentacles, okay? You see here a woman contemplating her pentacle world weary she's the queen of course she's, she represents the motherly figure and she's contemplating everything she has everything on her mind but she's on the throne very interesting how this correlates with the emperor you see and we all know that mothers are benevolent the queen represents a benevolent figure in her stature, okay. So, in Mr. Tate's future, we have a woman here who is generous, a woman who is benevolent, which is what this card signifies, represents generosity towards the people. And it also represents liberty. <laughs> do you see? Or do I have to do I, do I have to explain it any farther for you people? Do you understand it? You see. It's as simple as one plus one equals two. This is a great man leading a great movement. He might not be perfect, but as a great book says, let the one who is without sin cast a first stone. Right? So, this man is in a situation right now. I believe that he is on the precipice of something great great right now like and it and I think that this was needed for him this was needed for his character to to rebuild himself in certain aspects so you're gonna see him change in a few ways you're gonna see mr. take change and you're gonna see this change affect him positively and he's gonna come out greater from what happened so mark my words this is exactly what's going to happen I have every confidence, every belief in the world that Mr. Tate, in spite of this situation, is going to come out the victor. The victor. And he might just lose that small dick energy after all. So, signing out, this was the Mystic here. If you like this, then subscribe, share it with your friends, and remember, the future is in the cards.